All right. So, uh, I filled up my burette with the ammonium hydroxide uh, base. Now, uh, it's advice that I will advise that uh, when you're doing this, you want to uh, first uh, turn open the cap and um, flush off the air trapped in this section of the burette, okay? Because um, those that uh, the air bubble there can mess up your reading, okay? So what I'm gonna do is um, I turn it open and flush it out. There we go. So I've, um, I've flushed out the air bubble there. So next, um, how do we tell that um, the reaction between our acid and base is complete? Uh, we would be needing what we call an acid-base indicator. And like I said, uh, for this experiment, we're gonna be using um, phenolphthalein. Uh, phenolphthalein is an organic uh, compound. Okay, it belongs to the um, uh, phytylenate, uh, phytylene family, and usually its pH um, ranges anything from uh, 8.5. So uh, at, at um, a pH lower than 8.5, that's in the acid region, uh, 8.5 uh, heading down past 7, which is uh, neutral, uh, further down to zero in the acid region, usually the, uh, the color um, is colorless. Uh, phenolphthalein is colorless. So if I drop, I'm gonna be dropping um, three drops of phenolphthalein into each of my acid solution. And you notice I have um, a colorless color there. Okay, you notice it's colorless, there is no color change. So the whole idea of um, using phenolphthalein once again is to help tell us when we've reached what we refer to as the end point. That is the point where we relatively have um, a premolar uh, quantities of um, the acid and the base, okay? And also, uh, it's also to indicate that um, our reaction is complete. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to note the volume at which um, I'm starting my first titration. So I want to run off some to get um, a, a good volume reading. All right, so. All right, so right now uh, my initial volume is set at um, my initial volume is set at all right. My initial volume is set at zero, okay. And so once we reach the end point, we would notice um, a color change, okay. Uh, so the color would go from colorless to pink because uh, phenolphthalein in uh, in basic or alkaline medium is usually pink. So as soon as we notice the first pink change, we begin to slow down and go dropwise. Okay, I, I love this part of the experiment because um, you have that excitement, you know, I'm, I'm always excited and trying to make sure that I go slowly to get my exact end point. You notice every time, there we go. So right there, I have my end point. So you see that, that tells me that the reaction between my acid and base is complete okay so right now i notice um from my bur burette reading i used up my uh, i started at zero and right now my burette reading the volume 
is saying uh, 1.5. <clears throat> so I went from 0 to 1.5 milliliters. So uh, what this tells me, I'm using that more or less as my rough um, titer, all right? So uh, in, the, in the second one, I need to be very careful. So again, I'm starting off at 1.5, where I ended the first one. And this time around, I want to be very careful because I noticed in the first, uh, in the first one, the, co the color uh, changed very rapid. So I'm just gonna go is the color change again and um, right now my volume is at 3.1 so 3.1 so that's 3.10 and I started off at um, 1.50 okay So let's do the third trial. So I'm setting it up to make sure that I have um, the right color match. see the, the color matches all right so again I go ahead and take my reading so right now um, my volume is at Seven. Four point seven zero. So um, from these readings, I can readily see that um, on the average, the volume of um, the volume of base I used for this titration is. Uh, about one point so uh, looking at the volumes of um, base used in each of my titration uh, in the first trial I used the volume of 1.5 milliliter and then in the second trial same thing 1.5 milliliter but in the 
third trial 1.6 milliliter okay so these are very good readings so on the average uh, I'm looking at about 1.51 or there about uh, milliliter of um, base was used okay so like I said in my next video I will show us um, uh, calculation how to do the volumetric analysis uh, calculation uh, in this video we just went over you know the whole process of the technique okay um, again remember to not uh, to subscribe to our channel okay so that um, we can notify you uh, as soon as we upload uh, interesting experiments thank you and bye